It follows you wherever you go. Just close enough for the burn to be felt, but distant enough to stay hidden. It watches you closely from a distance, as you try so hard to fall deep into the flow of life, trying to forget the absurdity of it all. An amazing day into an amazing night, and not once were you fully taken from the moments at hand. But not once did you escape that burning red glow either. And when the night comes, and the sun takes back its salvation, there will be nothing left to steal your attention away from that which stood just beyond your periphery. It places itself between you and all other things, like lightning trapped in a moment, a racing pulse and awakened mind, a heart too recognized and overwhelmed by acknowledgement, enveloped in anxious fervor, burdened with too much life and nowhere to run, praying for dreams and daylight. But what might happen if you allow the fervor to overtake you? What happens if you step into the red glow and lightning? What might lie just beyond that restless mind and ignited life? What would happen if you embraced that which lies just beyond your periphery? What if you embraced the red line? When imagination comes to mind, when sleep is just as lucid day, when dreams are brought into waking worlds, we find what was once impossible. The bright red line in center room, shimmering ruby red and beckoning, twice as long as body length and piercing veil, bisecting rooms and lifting night through angles strange and shivered spines. In silent awe, in radiant waves as pulsing comes and goes, how odd to reach for things residing so far from where you are. Ephemeral and peaceful heart with unconditional displays of love. Returning once again with no fear of capture and love gifted. Giving all away in warmth and light. Taking away dark and empty thoughts in mind. Forever is the loving life that finds the red line.